Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to update your maps and your software on your Hyundai vehicle. More specifically, this Hyundai Ionic. So hit that subscribe button, stay tuned. We're going to be right back. Welcome back everybody. Well, the first place we're going to start is right here. And that's because we need to get some information off of the internet first before we can proceed with updating the car. So unlike most modern EVs, the Hyundai Ionic actually does not support over the air updates, just like a Tesla or some other new EVs that are coming out on the market. So the way to update the Hyundai Ionic is by downloading it from your computer and then installing it on the SD card located in your car and then applying the update from that SD card. Now in our example of the 2017 Hyundai Ionic, the SD card is located behind a small door just below the screen in the center of your dashboard. Now it may be different depending on the type of Hyundai vehicle that you have, but in this case, that is where this is located. And it is just a small SD card like this. Now, first thing is that you need to have a computer that can accept an SD card now, if for some reason you don't have a computer that can accept an SD card, you can always buy an adapter that plugs into a USB port that allows you to read these SD cards. So that's where you need to start to make sure you can actually read these on your computer at home. Now, the other thing that you may not see is you may not even have an SD card in your car. Depending on whether or not you have navigation will depend whether or not you even have one of these cards. Now, if you do, great. You're set to go. If you don't have a card in your computer, you can actually go out and buy an SD card. Now keep in mind that if you didn't pay for the navigation, this is not gonna help you any. This video will primarily be for the people who need to update your maps that are built into the car itself and the firmware updates for the vehicle that come out along with those navigation updates. Now, specifically for my car, there are two updates a year, one typically in the spring, which is this one, and one typically in the fall or just beginning of winter. And that twice a year, you can download those maps updates and also the firmware updates for the car. And these will help improve the vehicle for any type of problems it may have had either with the navigation or in the interface of the actual computer itself in the car. So once you get your SD card out of your car, and you get to your computer, here's what you're gonna need to do. Go ahead and just insert the SD card into your computer at any time. It doesn't really make a difference when, just as long as we do it before we start the process of downloading the files. The next thing you'll have to do is you'll have to open up a web browser, go to the Hyundai website. Now I made it easy for you. I'm putting a link in the description below of exactly where you need to go to download the updater software right from the Hyundai website. Now keep in mind, this is for the US, so depending on if you're in a different country, this may be different for you. So you may actually have to do some searches for, on Google or whatever to find this website for your country. But once you get to the Hyundai Navigation Updates website, you're just gonna scroll down a little bit and you will see the downloads right there for Windows or for Mac, depending on which computer you have. And then go ahead and install the software just like you would normally install any other piece of software. Down below is instructions on how to install this software. So if you have any questions or any problems, just go ahead and follow those instructions just below. Now that we've gotten that far, you've downloaded the software, you've installed the software on your computer. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open up that software and see what we're presented with. Now that you've opened up the navigation software, you might need to log in with a Hyundai account. So if you haven't already made a My Hyundai account, go ahead to back to the Hyundai website and create that account for you. You'll just need to use your email address and a password to log in. Once you do that, then you'll be able to get into the updater software. So once we get into the updated software here, you're gonna be greeted with a screen similar to this. And it's gonna say you can enter the navigation system model number, or if you wanna make it easier for yourself, you could just pick your car from the list right here on the left-hand side. Now, in my case, I have the Ionic Electric, so I'm gonna click on that, and then it's gonna ask me what year range do I have. So I have a 2017, so clearly I'm going to pick the 2017. Now, in this case, if you do have the Ionic, remember that they're also the Ionic Hybrid and Ionic 
plug-in hybrid, so make sure you choose the proper Ionic for you. Once we select the proper model car, we then want to pick the proper model year, and then we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. Now once we see this next screen here, it shows a picture of the car that we're going to be updating the dashboard interface so this should look like your vehicle at this point and then it's going to show the storage location of the update files the e drive is actually the sd card i have a 32 gig sd card which is why it says 30.2 gigabytes here so that is the one we're going to be using to do the updates so we're going to dump that information onto that card so then we can plug it into the car. Now you'll see here where it says the latest version is already installed on this vehicle and that is true. I have actually already installed this software but I'm going to redo this for you so you could take a look at it and see what exactly what happens. So we're going to go ahead and move on. Once you have the SD card plugged in, you selected your proper vehicle, everything looks good. Go ahead and hit that start button on the right side. You might get this pop-up that says the SD card recommended has to be at least 32 gigs and a class 10 or greater is recommended. Class 10 is just the type of speed of the card that you can get. Of course, you could get a bigger than 32 card or you get a faster than class 10 card perfectly fine. Just make sure you have those at the minimum requirements for this to be done. Once you're satisfied with that, go ahead and hit OK. Now it's going to ask you if you like the format. Now if this is an SD card you've used for other purposes, make sure you backed up everything off that card because it's going to get erased. Everything's going to get wiped off of that card and it's going to put all the Hyundai software on there. Make sure you verify that you no longer need that card for anything else other than this. Hit yes. And now at this point, as you can see, we are just going to be sitting here for a little bit as it downloads and installs all that information onto that SD card. Once it is complete with that, then we are good to go to put it in the car and then start the actual update procedure there. Now, one of the things you may notice right away on the screen is in the bottom left corner here, right next to the notices, it changes back and forth. It'll say April 2021 navigation map and software update. If you click on this link, it will actually bring you to the website with the notification and exactly what was updated in this update. So let's go ahead and wait for this to finish and I will be back with you momentarily. So as you could see here, we are at the next screen. So it has finished downloading the software. So now when you see this, just go ahead and hit the OK button. And now it is just saying if you want to go ahead and delete the temporary files that were put onto your hard drive that are now on the SD card and whether or not you want to keep them or not. So at this point, you could go ahead and hit close program and we are done. So our SD card is ready. Now we're going to go down to the car. We're going to plug it in and we're going to show you exactly what you need to do from there. So let's go and I'll see you in a second. So you've updated the software on the SD card. Now we're going to go ahead and update the software on the vehicle itself. So first thing you do when you get into your car, don't turn it on, plug in the SD card. So just plug it right back into that slot that you had before. Once it is secured in the car, go ahead and start the vehicle just like you normally would. Now you're going to see right away it says SD card has been inserted. It is preparing navigation. System will restart. So at this point, the computer is now restarting itself and it is going to restart and load that navigation software. This process takes about a minute and we are now back in. So at this point, we're just gonna give it about a minute or so just to get itself loaded. We're gonna go ahead and click the all menus button here. That's gonna bring us into the menu system of the computer of the vehicle here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to the bottom into setup, hit setup here. Once we are in setup, we're just going to scroll back to the bottom again, go into the general menu. Now that we're in the general menu, you're going to see right here where it says update. Now, before we hit update, I want to show you one thing right here where it says firmware version. So software version is the software of basically the maps themselves. Firmware version is actually the firmware of the vehicle itself. So what you can do to confirm what version you're currently on, even before you start this whole process, you can go ahead and look at these numbers right here. And you see where it says 210326. That is actually the year 2103 is the month and 26 is the day. 
So then you know exactly what time that these maps or software firmware has come out for this vehicle that you have loaded. So you'll know if you're behind or if you're not. And of course, as you see here with the firmware version, I am also up to date 210324. I'll mention again, I had already done this update, which is why mine are showing up like this. But at this point, we're gonna go ahead and hit that update button. And it's gonna say right here that if you upgrade to the new version, which is 210326, that you're not gonna have these available during the features. Now the car will still move, it will still work, but you're not gonna be able to do anything on the screen itself. And I highly don't recommend that you drive the car at all because you really should be doing this while you're stationary in your house or garage, wherever, parking lot. Um, so once this is good, you're gonna say update, you're gonna say yes. Be patient here. It's gonna say it's checking the update information and this process does take some time. So be patient, wait for it to be done. And at the end of it, we'll see what it looks like. This does take a little bit of time depending on your vehicle and depending on how big the update is and depending on the type of SD card that you have as well. So there's a lot of factors involved with that. So make sure you take your time don't hit buttons on the radio. Don't touch the touch screen. Once again, try not to drive the vehicle. Just let the car do its thing. And once it's done, it will be done. Try not to turn off the car. Try not to do anything with any of the power buttons or ignition while it's doing this process. So just leave everything the way it is. You can get out of the car and walk away for a few minutes or you can just sit here and watch it. But this does take some time. But for right now, we're gonna let that go and you guys are going to see a little bit of a quick snippet of this whole process going through and then at the end of that we'll go ahead and catch back up So there you go, it has now finally been updated. We are back on the main screen of the radio and if you wanna verify to make sure the update went through smoothly, just go back to that menu that we were at before, which is all menus, setup, scroll to the bottom again, general, and of course right here you will see your versions right there to make sure that they are up to date. Now this is as of May of 2021, we have 210326 for this now keep in mind that this is also for the hyundai ionic ev so your versions may vary slightly depending on which hyundai you are driving i sure hope this helped you out if you like this video hit that thumbs up below please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already take a look at our website techmotoring.com twitter at techmotoring facebook.com slash techmotoring i'd like to thank you very much again for watching and remember, welcome to the future and welcome to tech motoring. We'll see you on the next episode.